Yo YouTube, Carl here. Welcome to the vlog. So in today's episode, we are heading to San Francisco. So the wife wants to check out and ride the cable car. So that's like one of the most iconic things that you can do in SFO. And then after that, we'll head on over to Undefeated, which is one of my favorite sneaker shops. And we're going to check out one of my favorite uh, like bag brands, which is Peak Design. So those shops are actually in one street. Um, in San Francisco, downtown San Francisco, so super excited. I'm 100% sure that I will be buying one sneaker, so make sure that you guys watch until the very end where we unbox what that pair of kicks is. So let's go. Let's go. Huh? to do this via VO because it's kind of hard to talk while you know riding the cable car so there are several locations I think there are three where you can hop on board the cable car um, we bought our ticket via the app didn't have to go through the booth and then we just hopped onto it, it for one ride I think one way it's like eight dollars so how was the experience overall uh, well it's very visceral i mean you feel and hear everything and see everything so all your senses are kind of like activated there's that rumbling noise there's the gushing of the wind the breeze is so cold and at the same time you hear the sounds of everything that's happening all around you people talking cars honking and then also it's a visual treat because you see so many things you see so many people so many cars so many buildings so many tourist attractions at one point you get to see the golden gate bridge from afar you see alcatraz island and it was just like a, a sensory overload kind of experience if you really want to take everything in. So that was the experience for us. Would we do it again? Probably not. But we are soup we were super thrilled to have done it, you know, at least one time. So if ever you do find yourself in San Francisco, make sure to put it on your list to ride and take a picture over at the cable car. Oh, how was the cable car experience? Okay, lang, jeep. <laughs> <laughs> Scenic jeep na lang, Scenic diba? Jeep. Oh, ka naman? Mm -mm. Mo na yung picture mo? <laughs> siya. So we're here the last stop, which is the Fisherman's Wharf. So how much did we pay? Eight dollars one way. So you can get the passes if you guys want. But ako kung tatanong niyo ako, if you're in San Francisco, I think it's a must do, no? Yeah. Because it's like the iconic San Francisco thing. So at this point, we're going to grab lunch and then we're going to check out a few shops. So tara, Fisherman's Wharf, tayo, guys. Nakikita niyo yun, yun, yun siya yan. Zoom ko ha. Yan yung Alcatraz Island. Yan o. Oh. Yan. Yun, yun, yun. Yun ang Alcatraz Island. Kulungan yan. Well, wala nang laman. Pero tourist attraction din yan. Sa mga nagtatanong pala, this mask nakokoto sa Kultura over at SM Aura. So kung gusto niyo ng mga Philippine-inspired mask kasama yung necklace thing, you guys can check it out there. Ah, podium ba to? Podium pala, podium. So ito tinatawag na fish and fisher, fisherman's wharf guys. Fish and man's wharf. So you have restaurants, you have souvenir shops, you have a good view. Ito mukha okay to ah. Italian. Chiopinos Seafood. So nandito kami sa Chiopinos Restaurant and Bar Fisherman Wharf Tradition. Tingnan natin ano kukunin natin. Extravaganza crab legs. Saan yan? Ito. Ito yung sinasabi niya. Chopino? Uh -huh. A bountiful seafood extravaganza of Dungeness clam, crab legs, clams, mussels, snapper, shrimp. Ah, oh, it's a soup. Ah. Oh, we can do that. It's $44 for a soup. Okay lang yan. For sharing eh. Tapos fish and chips. Ah, game. Game. <laughs> sign of a good time. Yeah. For sure, we're going to have great lunch. <laughs> Feel like a kid. <laughs> so this is the fish and chips, guys. So you have fries, one, two, three, four big portions, and then this is the soup. So magigitan yung crab and everything else. Dami. Parang seafood bonanza, no? We have a uh, bowls over there, so bakapun lagi nasa kita. Tapos ginawa namin pinahimay na namin. Yung crab, para hindi na kami mahirapan. You know, 
Kukuha tayo ng konting <laughs> Yes! So we just had dinner Ay, dinner lunch Sobrang sarap Ano babe? Ano yung verdict mo? Sarap <laughs> Two thumbs up Yung soup masarap, yung fish and chips was okay also. Medyo mahal, pero sakto lang. So, lalakad lang kami dito sa Fisherman's Wharf. Probably head over to Peak Design in a bit. So, nandito na tayo near Peak Design. But before we go to Peak Design, may nadaanan kami undefeated. So, silipin ko lang siya. Maraming magandang sneakers doon, guys. Undefeated! Pasok ka? Huh? Barely green. Jordan 13. Ganda din yun. So, yung parang wala lang nakakatuwa. And I'm sure they have nice parang not. Ito yung bagong labas yun. Yellow. Jordan 13 Retro University Red. Nasaan yung red? Sick. 140. Saan na ito? Saan Ito yung paborito kong brand next to to me when it comes to bags. So ito yung only retail location nila. design. So, bumili tayo ng everyday case nila for iPhone. Tapos yung everyday case na yan, maraming mga accessories. Pwede mong i-mount sa car, sa bike, um, sa wireless charger nila. Meron din siyang sobrang gandang everyday wallet. Slim wallet na pwede rin nakadikit sa likod. So, parang mag-safe. So, ganyan yung itsura niya. So, slim wallet yung tawag sa kanya. Shoutout kay TJ Manotok. Siyang may kasalanan kung ba't nabili ko ito. Also bought this shoe pouch. And then bought this uh, field top. So parang maliit na sling bag. So yan ang ating haul from Peak Design dito sa San Francisco. So we're here at a public park. Ito sobrang nakakatuwa guys. So they have like an outdoor gym. Then a coffee shop. Like a mini skate park. Super nice place. Coffee date in some outdoor park after shopping sa Peak Design. Cheers! And we're back. So, the sneaker that I bought is the Air Trainer 1 SP in the dark smoke gray, black, iron, gray colorway. So, I got this for $150. This is what the box looks like. And I've been super curious about this sneaker ever since I saw the brown colorway a couple of weeks ago bam so this is the shoe over here as you guys can see it has that strap along the midfoot section it it reminds me a lot of the jordan 3 and the jordan 5 um and several other jordans combined into one nike training shoe but i was able to you know put this on feet already and i can tell you that it is one of the most uh, unfortunately uncomfortable sneakers that I've worn in a while. It looks good, it looks sick, it looks dope, but I, I, I was walking all over the place in GDC, Game Developers Conference, here in San Francisco yesterday. Clocked in over 8,000, 9,000, oh yeah, more than 10,000 steps. And when I got home, man, ang sakit ng paho. So, <laughs> so it's not one of the most comfy shoes ever. The midfoot to the forefoot section is kind of hard. And you, I, I really didn't feel enough support and cushioning. So it's one of those looks nice, looks kick ass, but unfortunately, not something that you would want to wear the whole day kind of sneaker, right? So yeah, that's it for today's episode. I also bought something from Allbirds, but I want to do a separate video for that. So make sure to stay tuned uh, when that episode happens. So I hope you guys enjoyed. As usual, this is Carlo. Oh, make sure to check the previous video out. I announced the giveaway. We're giving away something super cool. So if you haven't checked that episode out, it's the Livermore Outlets episode. Watch until the very end of that episode so you can join our giveaway. Okay? Peace. God bless. What's up? Boom.